Hello, first grade friends. How are you? I hope that you are doing well. We are ready for lesson 131 for phonics. We have talked about so much this year that we are going to stop and review what we've learned. So when we do this, we'll see how much more you know now about reading than you did at the beginning of the year. So we're going to start by today reviewing all the consonant digraphs. So first off, what is a digraph? A digraph is two letters that come together to make one sound. Very good. What are the two kinds of digraphs? We can have a vowel digraph or a consonant digraph. Today we're talking about consonant digraphs. What is a consonant digraph? Two consonants that come together to make one sound. It's a digraph made of consonants. So I have listed them on the board. We're going to go through and read them together. Okay, here are the consonant digraphs that we know. Let's read them together. K, sh, n, f, ch, n, ng, f, er. How do we code digraphs? We underline them, very good. So throughout the year, we have talked about keywords for our digraphs. So I've got my picture cards with me. We're going to say the name of the picture and then the digraph that goes with it, okay? I'm gonna mix them all up for you. All right, ready? Say the picture and then the digraph. Whale, w, not, n, nat, n, wreath, er, phone, f, shark, sh, thimble, th, duck, Cheese, ch, ring, ng. All right, very good. So let's talk about three of these first. Let's talk about nat, not, and wreath. What do you notice about these digraphs? They're all underlined because that's how we code digraphs. Why is the first letter crossed out? Do you remember? Right, we don't hear them. These are called the ghost letter digraphs. So we use them for spelling, but we don't say those letters when we speak. This is wreath, er, we don't pronounce the W. This is not, n, mm, the K is not pronounced. Nat, n, mm, the G is silent. Those are ghost letter digraphs, okay? Those are used for spelling though, okay? Which of these are regular for spelling? What digraphs are regular? We're going to circle them. CK, when it's in the final position, like duck, duck is spelled with CK at the end. Take a look, duck. Thimble, digraph TH is regular for spelling. Digraph NG, like in ring. Digraph SH, like shark is regular. Digraph CH, like cheese is regular. Now we know our ghost letter digraphs are not because we already talked about the silent letter at the beginning. But what about PH? Do you remember what digraph PH says? It says like phone. Phone has the sound spelled with PH. So that is not regular. 
pH looks like it would say something else, but it actually says, okay, so those five are regular, okay? Let's practice coding a few words and then we will get together on our worksheet. Let's see, let me write, I'm gonna do two words here. Let's see if we can read them together. All right, I've got two words, so let's code them. We look for any suffixes or final stable syllables. I don't see any. We've also talked about prefixes, and I don't see any of those either. Do we see any digraphs? Yes. Digraph E-A. This, in this word, the E is going to be short, so we'll put a brief. And there's digraph TH. Do we see any combinations? Combination ER. And no diphthongs. Okay, so I actually think this word is totally coded now. Leather. 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 Very good. What about this word? There's no obvious coding there. So to find the vowels, we have vowel O, vowel A. One consonant in between. So we always try to divide right after the first vowel. That means this O is open. So put a macron. And the A is at the end of the word. So it's going to make that schwa sound, that uh. So let's see if this is a real word. So, duh. Soda, yeah. Which syllable is accented? Soda, the first one after that open O, soda. All right, on our worksheet today, we are going to practice reviewing some sounds and practice with consonant digraphs. I'll see you there.